Hello everybody, my name is Virus Alertable and I am back to bring you guys another video. Today, I am starting my new series on Windows NT 4.0. Today, we will be looking at Windows NT 4.0 pre-beta build 1141. Now, if my voice sounds just a tad bit different, I got a new microphone. So I got a new headset and with a new headset comes with a new microphone. So I hope I sound a little bit more crisper and cleaner and um and all that so it's going to be really nice now enough about my microphone and stuff let's get into the beta build so as i said before this is a pre-beta build of windows nt 4.0 and it is the earliest leaked build of windows nt 4.0 so it was first leaked in the workstation um version and then the server version was leaked on december 22nd 2012 2015 so very recently we've been able to get our hands on the server version now i'm mostly going to shift my focus to the workstation version if there's a build that's only in server version and it's pretty significant then i'll show you guys there are tons of other builds i there was a bunch of other builds but there were some builds that i just could not get started up because ah here we go let's um different screen oh uh no text in the first one okay so the setup looks relatively a little different from the first one. Now Windows NT, it'll look a little familiar once we get on the desktop. Now the reason it looks pretty familiar, it's because it takes the face of Windows 95. This is the version where it's basically this is our business version of Windows 95 except it's NT. So the final wizard page, so nothing. So yeah, um, I'm going to be more focused on working with the workstation builds instead of the server builds the only real difference with the server and the server enterprise versions are basically with server it's just basically used it adds a little bit more features that can be useful for people who run servers for businesses that run servers or something like that and i'm just more concentrated on the workstation because that's kind of for the average employee in the company that uses their computer they use the workstation build of this so we're just waiting for it to set up network so i will be able to use windows internet explorer so um that'll be very nice it's gonna be a little bucky though because <laughs> internet explorer i mean that it was like it's ie2 right now i think i believe so <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult to run um how should i say a modern pages so we're going to restart the computer and we're going to see what this operating system looks like. So it says right there, build 1.11.41. So we know this is confirmed. This is this build. So here we go. So it's branding itself as Windows Work NT Workstation 3.51. So I, I don't have a compiled date for this. And didn't that little icon move? I think that moved. Okay. So I, I don't have any date specific on when this build was compiled but for all i know this is definitely one of the earliest leaked builds of windows nt 4.0 so as you can see it looks like windows 95 it truly looks like windows 95 however under the hood this is basically a true 32-bit operating system this isn't a 16 16 32-bit hybrid this is a true 32-bit processor and whoa here we go yeah it's uh, my mouse sub uh, some stuff froze so here we go so ooh, task manager looks uh pretty different actually so this network neighborhood so we still have uh my briefcase okay so i don't see any internet explorer on here i don't think i added internet explorer i don't think they start adding those until later so this is right there it says windows nt explorer so that's nice calculator still looks the same hmm. I don't see a change in calculator let's see here um run command looks a little um looks pretty much the same i believe oh, that's nice all right so we oh and everything's in lowercase some stuff is lowercase this is chat oh yeah okay so you like you can chat with other people on the network let's see administrative tools let's see uh, notepad notepads minimize is uh lowercase for some reason it doesn't have the notepad icon that we're used to it has that um text file kind of stuff that it has on it paint so paint looks the same looks like 95 xp 98 ish so 
Let's see, we got the ter uh, we got terminal. We got some of these are lowercase for some reason. Oh, there's no no sound devices. I'm sure there's sounds on this. I know there's sounds for this. However, the, it doesn't detect my sound drivers apparently. So we got a vent viewer. This is a vent viewer. I never showed you guys what a vent viewer looked like, did I? So this is what it looks like now. Uh, and <laughs> doesn't not look like the modern event viewer that we know today. So. <laughs> Let's see what else do we got so we got they have the backup oh <laughs> oh they have added solitaire back we don't need to worry about ms hearts anymore we have solitaire back that's nice all right it's really i apologize if it um if my mouse keeps going off screen and things it's it's in a, like uh virtual box likes do oh there's a oh there's a, oh I, oh here's the tutorial i never got to show you guys i'm not gonna go through the whole thing i'm just gonna show you guys a little snippet of what it looks like Right, I apologize if the cursor keeps going off screen and stuff. It's it's like since it's such a tiny box, it's kind of hard to get into the into the very big into the tight corners or all the way to the bottom of the screen. So we got um our main folder called WinNT. We got system and system32 as you can see is we we are all pretty much familiar with system32. Um those who pretty much know these operating systems like the back of our head. So here we go. Let's see. Um. Here's the win version. There we go. Build one. Built 11.41. Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't have the... Oh, I forgot to put the zero after the NT 4.0. Shoot. That's not nice. Okay. Oh, that's going to bug me. Alrighty. So we'll look at clock. Clock looks a little different. It doesn't... It actually looks the same. Never mind. It doesn't... It looks pretty much the same. Here we have a system folder where we have our fonts. It's nice. Alright. That's cool. Still opens up a new window every time we click on a new thing. So there are temp folder, the U our users folder, nothing in there. Okay. Win32 applic- oh, I think that's for applications, uh, windows of 32-bit applications. So here's our control panel. It looks a little different. Um, it's got tape drive systems, PC card, that's what I'm looking at. I think that's all that's really new. And server. That's um a little new as well. Here we go, control. Oh, it's a console, okay. So here's our display properties. Looks relatively the same. I don't see any um, new real um, backgrounds. It's just that, the Windows NT uh, 0.53, or 0.51, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We could change our display size, but since I don't, I don't want to mess with the recording, I think that's about it, guys. I think that's pretty much all I can show you and that I've showed you guys. I'm gonna have to start wrapping this up. Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, oh this is our boot, the boot um, file. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. Virus Alertable, signing off.